that this works because <laughs> if it isn't one thing it's another um i'm also just trying to make sure things are showing up there we go there we go no nope, that's not what i wanted click to expand I'm just hoping that I'll be able to see comments and things as they pop up on my main computer because I can't see anything with my little my little phone swatchy holder thing. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do some swatching. All these I probably want to do. Doesn't really matter. No, I'm gonna do one on the smooth side. Hello, Terry. I'm pro most likely not gonna get all of these done tonight. <laughs> In fact, I'm also gonna put my little apron on so that I do not get spray stain all over me. Because just, just no, you know, just no. But I thought I might as well start instead of procrastinating like I always do. <laughs> Uh, and apparently, uh, I did post a link to what I'm using. I'm just not 100% sure where it will be. Um, who knows? I have no idea. You know what I mean? But it's technically there somewhere. Hide comments, okay, I don't know. If you guys can see the link, let me know. I did post it. Oh, I guess it does. It's like right here on my screen. And I don't know what I'm doing. Me and Facebook Lives are a whole other thing. But anywho, I will have links posted. And if, when I get it all done, I'll maybe do a quick blog post or something. I have no idea. Um, but like I said, I probably am not going to get all these done tonight because there's 36 mica stain sprays and it's going to take up a ton of space etc but this is what i used i used the multi-tag tool wafer dye from waffle flower i use that and i love it because i can deck it nine at once which is super sweet so i use that with just distressed watercolor paper and die cut 36 tags that is all I've done so far. And then, um, yeah, in that list, if it shows up for you guys, I link to that. I link to that. I also use the Tim Holtz cable binder rings. Um, cause yeah, I like these to connect them all and then I'll have them. And then I will either handwrite or I will print out, I don't know yet, like the names of each one. And I'll probably stick that to the back. I'm not sure yet, but most likely to the back, because if you guys watched my Facebook live from earlier, sticking things to something very shimmery gets a little bit iffy. So I'll probably put the names just on the back. That's that's my plan. We shall see how this goes, because it's going to be kind of a mess. <laughs> I'm nervous. Yeah, like I've never really bothered to swatch them, but for me, certain times, I just, because, you know, when you're looking at the bottle... You know, you get a rough idea of the color, but it's, you know, it's, I like to be able to see. It's like, oh, okay, this is the exact color. Because sometimes I get very particular about the colors that I want to use. So, it helps. And other times it just doesn't matter, you know. For those that aren't into swatching or anything like that, don't, don't worry about it. But sometimes it's kind of nice. So, the other thing I want is... My little splat box, of course, to keep things somewhat contained. I'm just trying to, like, make sure I'm actually on. So I'll put him there. And then we'll just do a tag at a time. And, yeah, we'll see. We'll just see how this works. So, I like swatching almost more than stamping. Sometimes it's really fun. Uh, I always put off swatching just because I get overwhelmed with the amount of um just the amount I have to do you know like I have so many products I oh, I have so much housekeeping I need to do I have five million things but 
there is something satisfying about having them done and they also look pretty okay so like i said you guys shake these up shake the devil out of them make sure everything's shooken shooken up really well and then that's it that's all, that's all we got to do and then i did also um did you get to go in your yes we did we literally did go right after we were done <laughs> filming the uh youtube live i added the links to it and then we went for our walk the weather was so nice and it was nice to just get out of the house and yeah and then i came home and like started cleaning up and i did all the social media and everything so yeah it was it was good i i enjoyed doing the live but i also enjoyed just getting out of the house oh seriously like this is why it like unraveled oh. i have backups of this one <laughs> It's so pretty. It's just mm, yum. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of keep this. We'll just we'll just see where all this goes. Okay, we're just we're just gonna see. It's so nice to yeah. Here at least here the weather has been just just in the last couple days has been fabulous. Last week was rotten, like horrible weather, literally really cold, miserable, so much rain, just bleh. And right now, it's just been beautiful the last couple days. So, it was it was nice to get out of the house for a bit. and Because I've been kind of working a lot. A lot, a lot. And it's just been... Yeah, I need to make a point of getting outside more. Because <laughs> I don't. I definitely don't. Okay, this one's... And yeah, I always say this in my videos, when I'm working with the stain sprays, I, you know, I'll keep them on my desk like this, like on their sides, because the, the mic will settle more on the side and it's easier to shake up. But I keep them stored upright, always upright, because you, oh, it, I just, and especially me, because I'm always, you know, opening them and splattering with them, doing things. Like, if they're not, you don't want them to leak. I just, I can't even imagine the mess, you know, if you went away for a few days and then they leaked. So yeah, you store them upright. But when working with them, keep them on my side, throw them around my desk, that sort of a thing. Yeah. Yep, yeah, all week until today here in Manitoba was brutal. Yeah, same, yeah, same here. You had the same weather as us. It was just, like, it was gross like and depressing. <laughs> like rainy drizzly cold windy grossness and i was like eh, i don't like this okay so this one is a frozen fog which i already i've used it i love it it's so pretty it's so pretty oh kind of sprang a little too much but i can't help myself it's pretty it's so pretty i love it so yeah I don't know if my phone is like really doing this justice. It's just the palest of solar, you know? And because these are swatches, I, they're not, you know, how they look like. For those that watch, this is what I posted earlier. I did this whole background in mica spray stains, you know? Like, look at it. Look how amazing that is. Like, oh, the shimmer. And I showed in the video too. I used my flashlight so you can actually see the glitter because it's amazing. Amazing. Okay. I haven't even opened this one yet. This is one of the new ones. So yeah, that was Frozen Fog. This one's Frosty Mint. Why did I not have this already open? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I gotta double check. Because I do have backups of like everything. <laughs> oh no. The other one was Merry Mint. That one came out last year, I think. Maybe it was last year. Because yeah, there was the six new holiday colors and six new halloween colors halloween ones i've dived into how many times holiday ones not as much yet but i've been i've been getting there of course this one doesn't want to open she doesn't want to play i just bought some mica stain i don't make cards but i want to try making tags totally totally tags 
little like ATCs, those, you know, like, yeah, you don't have to be a, a card maker. Um, just have fun with them. Seriously. You know, you like playing with paper and sprays and all the things. And yeah, you could totally make go oh, gorgeous tags. The only reason I just, I don't know, if I, I'll make tags, but I stick them on a card. So then the other thing, and I've mentioned this too, is when you're like, like, I'm not shaking it hard yet, but when you don't hear anything, the there's a metal mixing ball in these. And if it's been sitting or if you just got them, because, you know, they sit for a long time, all that mica settled you know, on the bottom. And sometimes the mixing ball is like stuck in there. So you just got to keep shaking it till you loosen that mixing ball. And you, it's still not loose. So it's, it's embedded in that mica. Because you'll know when it comes loose. I've got a big blob of it, and that's probably exactly where the mixing ball is. Get out of there. Oh, this is going to be a pretty color. I might come back to him if he's going to keep being stubborn. Because he may just need to loosen up a bit more. Because, yeah, you have to shake it until all that mica, because you can see I've got a big clump of it all right there. Oh, see? There it is. There it is. Because once that's loose, it starts... It'll start shaking up much better. Almost. Just about. There's that tiny little bit left. There we go. So yeah, got all that color mixed in. Let's grab this tag. Oh, yes. Yep. Definitely gonna love that one. That is beautimous. That's frosty mint. Oh, love it. Love it. All right. And then we got Wonderland. Actually, I might as well like shake up two while I'm at it. I haven't started with the sprays yet. I just had more oxides colored to my collection. Sprays are fun. <laughs> uh, I, I love the sprays. I avoided all of them for the longest time. Um, I think it, was, I, it wasn't until Tim came out with the oxide sprays that I started getting into the sprays. Because I was like, oh, I'm never going to use these. This isn't my... Um, this isn't my forte, like, I don't, I, you know, I don't do mixed media, yada, 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 and I have so much fun with sprays, but, yeah, does everyone need to have them? No. Um, but yeah, I, I love them. I have the oxide sprays, I have the spray stains, I have, of course, the mica stain sprays. This is why, also, technically, you're not supposed to shake them, like, up and down, and it's recommended to shake them more like a bell, is because of this, because the color can seep up through the nozzle. I personally don't care. I'm stained from my live from earlier, but that is, this is exactly what I'm trying to avoid. But another way around that is to just take carefully, because I just take a wipe, mostly wipe out that, wipe it off. And then if you just put a cloth like kind of around it, a wipe or a cloth or just whatever, you know, and then shake the devil out of it and you won't get a huge mess. Oh well, I'm just running out of room in my craft space. Same. <laughs> I, you guys, I'm, I have such a disaster, especially after Stamp Timber. I have, so that's why I'm sitting here doing a live, you know, chatting with you guys while I swatch, because it's like, I'd rather do that than clean. 
I have so much like organizing I need to do and cleaning and purging and so many things. And I'm just like, nah, I'll do it later. <laughs> I'd rather play and make swatches. Uh, okay. This one's all, all shooken up. Oh, another just, it, they're just beautiful, you know? They're just beautiful. Love it. I love it. I just organized my stamps today. Oh, uh, I have to organize literally everything. Like I need to do a massive, massive amount of organizing and I just, I don't have the energy. I'll get to it eventually. Someday. Someday. And then, yeah, with the mica stains, when you're working with them, you still need to shake them as you're working with them because the mica just, it's gravity. It's always going to settle wherever it's laying, whether it's upright or on its side, wherever, it's just going to settle. So you always give them a shake, you know, make sure things are shooken up, do your thing. Oh, yes. This is another favorite. I just, I'm so glad he did this. This is sugary gumdrop. This is like, um... What's that new distress color? Abandoned coral. Very like similar, but with shimmer. That's so amazing. So yeah, that's sugary gumdrop and it's just delicious. They're all dreamy. Yes, <laughs> they 100% are. They're so fun. And the names are fun and the colors are fun. And that's why I keep them on the wall behind me that everyone can see during my lives. Cause I just, I keep them on display cause they're just, look how pretty. I'm like trying to see cause like my holder is covering a big chunk of my camera, but yeah, beautiful. Okay. Things are going to start getting a little random cause I just grabbed bottles some that were already sitting on my desk, some of the, and all these new ones, because I haven't. This is going to be another gorgeous one. I've used this already. This is Phantom Mist. And while I'm at it, let's mix up a second one. This will be a good, like, spring color, too, you know? Like, these are all technically seasonal. They are technically seasonal. I know Simon Says Stamp, and that's who I link to, um, has like the sets, because they are they are seasonal. They're holiday sets and Halloween sets. Simon has them open stock as well, so you can get like individual colors. And hopefully they stock up enough that they can kind of keep them throughout the year. But just FYI, they are seasonal. So, but Ranger's supposed to keep bringing them back each season, you know, so next Halloween they come back, you know, let's hope. Let's just hope. But just FYI for those that aren't aware, um, cause that is the thing, but who knows? Maybe if we make it popular enough, they'll just become part of the permanent line. That would be wonderful because yeah, I love them. I, I just, I love them, you know? And like I said, I have backups. I, I have backups <laughs> cause I don't ever want to run out ever. And I do use them a lot. Does the nozzle clog up? If you watch my live on YouTube from today where I made these cards, um, I discuss, I don't, I've literally only had it happen once and it was, and it was because I didn't shake it up enough. I had like a blob of mica right in front because you can see where the nozzle is or like the end of the little tube. It's usually like right kind of against it. And I had a, like a clump of mica and I went to spray and it went... <laughs> And it clogged, but I was able to unclog it pretty quickly because I caught it and yeah. But yeah, that's why you want to shake them up really well and make sure that none of that mica is settled in the bottom. Make sure you got them good and shaken. Oh, this one too. I just, yeah. And I've used most of these colors already, you know, but it's, I don't know, I, I it'll never get old for me. It's just like, look how pretty it is. Uh. <laughs> it's like, look at it. Look how amazing this is. So yeah, this one's Frozen Fog, I think. Is that what this one's called? Phantom Mist. This one's Phantom Mist. Oh, beautiful. 
Yeah, Frozen Fog is the light silver one from the beginning. This one is just, just delicious. They're all delicious. I love them all. I love them all. Don't ask me to pick a favorite. I can't pick favorites to save my life. This one is also fabulous. This is very similar to like Uncharted Mariner. This is Juniper Berry. And this color is just, oh, oh, just you wait, just you wait. It is literally, look at it. Look at it. So yeah, that's Juniper Berry. Freaking gorgeous. <laughs> uh, love it. Okay, these two are going to be super dark. These are from the Halloween collection from this year. And I have used them many times already. And these ones are super, super dark. In fact, it's so dark, it's hard to tell in my lighting right now. I think they're pretty well mixed up. Yeah, because this dark green, this is Specimen, and this one's like super, super dark. And then um, Ominous Twilight, which is just unbelievably intense purple. And yeah, it's so intense, it's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure I got it mixed up. Pretty sure. To build myself a bigger art space. I know, right? <laughs> Gonna need a bigger boat. Oop. Eh, more than I planned. Whatever. Who cares? Specimen's gorgeous. It goes on super, super dark, but wait till you see it dry. It is. Look at it. Look, look at the magic. Like. Oh. This one, when it goes on wet, it looks like nothing, and then it dries to that. Seriously. So yeah, that's specimen. It's just... Mm, it's like dragon scales. And then this one, the Ominous Twilight, also super duper intense. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, I'm already running out of space. <laughs> show and you can't see the actual glitter because i'm using my phone to film so i can't like turn the flashlight on to actually show but like these sparkle which yeah i show in videos and stuff but yeah so that was ominous twilight just beautiful okay so then i've got these three that i used in my video earlier today so i've got Bubbling Cauldron, which I think was one of the original colors. I think so. And then Mold Cider is this year's. I think this is one of the newest ones. I have everything, like, kind of in rainbow order. Or I did. And then, like I said, I just grabbed stuff at random to start um, doing this. So. Yeah. This guy is shaking up. Perfect. This one needs some more. This is the one I used in today's live too, Yuletide. This is one of the new ones. This is... Oh. And like I said in that live, I'm not a big... Um, I don't use red a lot. Only because it's just... I don't know. I, I just... I don't reach for reds. I use them for certain things, but... It's just not a favorite of mine, but this is, oh, this is unbelievably gorgeous. So we'll get to that in a second. This one is another one that I, I made a miss. So stick that over there. We'll wrap that up because I, I 
Yeah, see, it's we just got little, there's just little chunks. There we go. Yeah, once you can tell that there's nothing settled in the bottle, then we'll take that. Make sure that it's just one. Little one. So that's mulled cider. Yeah. Isn't it pretty? If this was me, I'd be covered in ink by now. Usually I am. I am from earlier. Like, I got stains from working with these <laughs> earlier today that I haven't, like, because I, I haven't scrubbed yet. But, and I'm wearing an apron, or else usually, depending on the day, I'm wearing my pajamas, because then I don't really care, or, you know, my ratty old sweatpants and whatever. Pajama top, that sort of a thing, because, yeah. I only try a little harder not to get completely covered when I'm wearing some of my nicer clothes, which I am right now, because I was live earlier, so. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Bubbling Cauldron. So pretty. And then this is going to be, this one is the Piaf de Resistance. Because this one is the Yuletide and it is just, oh. <laughs> okay. at that isn't that just that's yuletide you know isn't that just oh, absolutely gorgeous gorgeous so yeah and that's that's this <laughs> and this is yuletide because it just it is an intense it is a murder scene it's beautiful absolutely beautiful okay i'm gonna do just a couple more and then i'm gonna end this i might come back maybe tomorrow morning or something because yeah i definitely don't have time to do all 36 today um let's do these guys because yeah um okay I'll lay these ones down. Does it say? No, it doesn't say. Okay. This is another favorite. I've used them a lot. This is Winterberry. Making sure everything is shaken up. Make sure it's <laughs> tight because, yeah, I like to use mine too when I'm doing like splattering. I've shown this in videos. I'll just do this and, you know, flick it onto my cards or whatever. But make sure, you know, because I've done it. Oh, this one's so yummy. It's like candy. Don't eat the sprays. Just, just don't. Don't eat them. So yeah, that's winter. Ooh, and I got like transfer. Oh well. Yeah, that's winterberry. So now that I know that that's happening, we can just flip that over. Her specimen, because it's just specimen. It's what it does. It's what it does. This one is definitely gonna need 
my messy little cloth here so I can give it a good shake. Yeah, see, we've still got some. Okay. Yeah, I've got just a stubborn little... Right where the nozzle is, too. I can see it there. Sometimes you just gotta give it a good thwack on the table. There we go, okay. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, stuff stuck on there. That's cocktail party. Yeah, cocktail party, winter berry, I don't have enough, I don't have enough hands, Yuletide, like, this is why you need all the things, you know, <laughs> Yuletide, winter berry, cocktail party, just beautimous, absolutely fabulous. Okay, and then we've got peppermint stick, which is more of a kind of orangey red. Yeah, that's peppermint stick. So more of a, oh uh, yeah, more of an orangey red, I would say, you know? And then that's Yuletide. Much more um, intense, which is kind of, diff again, it depends on the color you're going for. This is exactly why I'm swatching them, because now I can see, you know, at a glance, which one is which, depending on what I want to go for. They're both beautiful though, sorcery. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I was glad I could get a single permit so your mind exploded all over the place. Oh, that would have been awful. Yeah, yeah. Like, these things are, they, they, they're messy. Worth it, like totally worth it, but yes, very messy. <laughs> This one is Tart Cranberry. I do not remember which one this was from. This was last year or the year before. I don't remember. But it's from the older collections for sure. Me. Yeah. Okay, we'll put him over there. Yeah, that one's tart, tart cranberry, which is more, tart cranberry is more like kind of a deeper red with an orange tone of mica. 
and then that's peppermint stick which you can see like the the color is more of a orangey red and then the mica is different like they're not the same you know so tart cranberry peppermint stick and then of course yuletide which is just a leak of its own completely different color you could cut poinsettias. Yeah, you totally could. Although this is going to be completely um, mush by the time I'm done. I'll do a couple more before I call it, before I call it a night. Because, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I can possibly get a couple more out of here before... Where I wanna. Yes, you just need them all. Yes, kind of. Uh, I always try and tell people that, like, no, you don't need all the things. And it's, you don't. You don't need all the things. You know, it's just, it's hard for me to contain that enthusiasm when it's things like this where it's like, they're shimmery and amazing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, technically you don't need them all, but if you can swing it, I recommend it because <laughs> they're fun. Oh my goodness. Okay. This one's burning ember. This one came out. I think this was last year's. I think this was last year's Halloween one. I think pretty sure this was from last year. And this is another favorite of mine. I've used it a lot and it is very, very messy and I don't care. I, I don't care. Okay. Yep. Okay, we're gonna put that over there. So yeah, that's Burning Ember, that's Mulled Cider. So Burning Ember is like deeper, going into almost like a brownie orange, and then Mulled Cider is just, it's very similar to kind of like, it's like Crackling Campfire Distress with Shimmer, you know? They're different, they're different, they're beautiful. Love them! Okay, got those ones. And then another absolute favorite is Jack-O-Lantern. I love this one. Okay. Okay. And... Everything's shooken up. So this one is much more your true orange in a sense, bright orange. Definitely jack-o'-lantern orange. Oh, I love it. So yeah, jack-o'-lantern, mulled cider, and uh, I'm running out of space. Burning ember so yeah more of a true orange kind of a ready orange and then i would put this into like a brownie orange category they're all beautiful they're all amazing we loves them okay that can go there i am not even kidding i am like so out of space here because i'm trying to keep each tag with each bottle so it's easier for me when the time comes to uh i'm like i'll just keep flipping this around we'll make it work so yeah jack-o-lantern is one of my favorites i know it's so it's just such a perfect orange i love it i love it i love it Okay, these will be my last two, and then I'm gonna 
and then I'm going to call it a night, and I, I'll either just finish the rest off camera tomorrow morning, or I might pop in live, we'll see, I make no promises, it's just going to depend on uh, five million things, as always, I got so much on my plate right now, as that's never a surprise, really, it's never a surprise, okay, okay, now we've got Harvest Moon, which is like bright yellow. It is beautimous. Oh, it's so just <clears throat> delicious. And then we'll do Flickering Candle, which is just like a warmer, just a warmer yellow. And I'll show in a second here. So that's Flickering Candle. And that is Harvest Moon. So yeah, Flickering Candle, definitely warmer and a deeper um, mica. You know, like a more deeper sort of golden mica. And then Harvest Moon is like brighter with a lighter mica. And then the one I did at the very, very beginning, which was Unraveled, is more like a champagne color and I love Unraveled so much. Literally bought extras of that one. I have extras of all of them but I have like d twice the extras of Unraveled because I just I don't know what it is. I love it. I absolutely love it. But yeah. Can't go wrong with any of them. Really. You can't. They're all beautiful. Okay. So that was Flickering Candle. That was Harvest Moon. How much time have I got? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to call it a night for now. I got to clean this up. When it comes in, I talked about this in my live on, um, sorry, you probably said this there. I have a link. I'm not sure if it's showing up for you guys. Um, I do, I did link to everything I use. I did up a, a list of everything right now. My phone is showing up like right here, but I'm not sure where it shows up for you guys, but when I'm done, I'll show, but I use distress watercolor paper. Um, and I will post like a, an image when I'm done everything. Um, I don't know if I'll do the rest on a live or not. Maybe tomorrow morning. We'll see because it's getting late here. I'm, I'm a little tired. This is my second live today because I did earlier live on YouTube and that was almost three hours long. Anyway, um, I discussed in that one with like the staining from, especially from the mica stains and any sprays, you know, inks, all of that. I just take a loofah, take a loofah with some just gentle hand soap and I just like work it and it will pretty much take off everything um we were kind of joking about because also like washing your hair in the shower it's the exact same concept because shampoo and your hair will also work to kind of work this out. and it's the most gentle way to remove this from your hands without like scraping your skin off so that's what i'm gonna go do because i have a has mica stain and just stains and you know murder scenes on me <laughs> And I don't, I honestly don't mind, but it just, when it's, when I go to film other things, it can look like gross, you know, but I don't really care. Anyway, um, thanks for hanging out with me while I did this, you guys, and chatting. And hopefully, hopefully the, I, the list I linked to worked. Facebook is weird, you know, and I don't do like lives with links very often on here because I have no idea how they work. Um, and I'm not going to try flipping my camera around to talk to you guys face to face because I just, I'll probably break it. So those are the swatches for the moment. We'll see if I pop in tomorrow morning. It's just going to see how I feel in the morning. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay. For those that are tuning in, this is technically, or not technically, this is part two of mica spray stain swatching okay and i'm just hoping that i can see the comments <laughs>
because we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. I still have quite the pile. Just watch. And yeah, hopefully comments and things will show up. If not, well, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I posted a link to everything that I am using, all of it, and I think it shows up for you guys. I was told yesterday it was showing up, so let's hope, but I'll post a link again, like I do, and yeah, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four, only fifteen, only, fi only fifteen left. <laughs> Uh, they're gonna look so good when they're done though. They're gonna be rainbow amazingness of shimmery goodness. And then that'll be just one thing I can finally check off my to-do list. Cause yeah, if it isn't one thing, it's 5 million others. So I literally just got down here. I literally just laid out the ones I need to swatch. So everything, again, needs to be shaken up really, really, really well. Because the mica stain sprays, all the mica settles to, um, settles to the bottom. And then like I said in all of my videos using these, I'll lay them on their sides only when I'm working with them when they're like sitting on the shelf, they're sitting upright because you do not want these to leak. They will make a huge, a huge mess. Um, I need to switch over. Just give me a sec here to, and of course that's when my phone decides to start going off and I can't turn off notifications at the moment. Let me, there we go. I can open, no, that's not what I want to do. There we go. I think that should work for me. I should be able to see it th that way. Okay. So yeah. And then if I take my other device and hopefully put it on do not disturb, I won't get Oh, it is on. So, and it's still going on. Wonderful. Whatever. Whatever. I'm... Oh, I have too much of a mess going on in here. I can't even put things away. There. Okay. Let's just get her done. So now we've got Wicked Elixir, and it's all shaken up. Everything is good. Let's just... Let's just get her done. Okay. Uh, stop it. Okay. Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, that's Wicked Elixir. Love. Okay. Next is Holly Branch, which is much more olive toned green and oh, so pretty. So pretty. Dry it. Yeah, Holly Branch is oh, gorgeous, just gorgeous. And then we've got Tree Lot, which all of these were previous ones because all the ones I did last night in the first swatching video I think I did all of the newest colors from this year's Halloween and holiday release 
And now I'm sort of going in rainbow order and yeah, yeah, okay. So this one's tree lot and it is like nice sort of deep pine green. Oh, y'all. Love, love, okay, then we've got Fresh Balsam, which is a much brighter, let's just flip the sky around, much lighter green. And this is definitely one of the ones that I wanted to spurred on the need to swatch because of the way it looks when the mic is settled to the bottom versus how it looks when it's mixed up and sprayed is so completely different. So pretty. So pretty. That one's just, and does not look like you would expect it to, because the mic is so light. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And like I said last night, I'll say that about every single one. I have no favorites. I love them all. Okay. We'll do Merry Mint. I'm really annoyed that I have Do Not Disturb turned on my other devices, and it's just not working. Oh well. Oh well. I if I can like change that. There we go. We'll just do that. Perfect. There we go. That'll keep my life a little less chaotic. Okay. Now, Merry Mint. Ooh, I made a mess with that one. Perfection. So yeah, that's Merry Mint. And then last night I swatched Frosty Mint, which they're totally, Frosty Mint's definitely much lighter. You know? And for someone like me, I like having options. So yeah, that's Merry Mint. Okay, now we're getting into the blues. So we've got Frosted Juniper. Get the lid off. All shaken up. Oh, I forgot how pretty this one was. Delicious. So that was Frosted Juniper. And then let's do Winter Frost. Actually no, let's do, let's do Shiny Bobble. And again, these are not like all the blues or all the greens because I did 
just all sorts of randomness last night. So all the other ones are all swatched. And I'll probably take photos and everything after um, after I'm done. Yeah. Because, like, if there aren't photos, did you even actually do it? <laughs> Shiny bauble. Just beautifulness. Okay. Now we're going into snow flurries. just like a baby blue so pretty so pretty so snow flurries one second there we go my phone holder is being a little bit annoying there we go okay so snow flurries and then winter frost Yeah, you always want to make sure all of that is mixed up. You shouldn't see any mica against the edges. Yeah, you'll know it's fully mixed when there's nothing clumped up on the sides or the edges. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Winter frost. Oh, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful this over now we're getting into the last couple of purples some of the OG mica stain sprays just about This one's Hocus Pocus. And it is also super yummy. Oh, love it. So then we have Hocus Pocus, and then we've got Fortune Teller, which is much more like seedless preserves sort of a color. Oh, it's beautiful. Mike and this one's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Okay. Four left to go. Starting with one of my other favorites, Decayed, which is uh, one of the best colors. Look at it. <laughs> I love Decade. It is one of my favorites. Okay, flip that around again. Hmm, huh, I wonder, am I missing one? I am too, and now I don't know which one I'm missing. I have an extra tag, I think. Yes, I do. What the heck? Huh. Oh, I found it. I found it. And it's actually one of the neutrals. Never mind. Totally not. So four left. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. <laughs> it's like I die cut 36 tags for 36 swatches. Because there's 36 mica stain sprays. So, yeah. These darker ones, it's a lot harder to tell if everything's shaken up. That's empty tomb. It's like gunmetal. Empty tomb. And now we've got iron gate, which is lighter, I'm pretty sure. Gate, empty tomb. So yeah, lighter, a little bit more on I would call a neutral gray to a warm gray, and this is definitely darker to a cooler, cooler gray. So, love it. All right, two more, and then I'm done these swatches and can get on to all the other work I have to do today. <laughs> ball loosened in there so we can mix this up. Perfect.
such a gorgeous neutral. That's Crooked Broomstick. Just uh, so nice. And then this last one will be Fallen Acorn, which is oh so dark. I love this one is from this year's release. This was in the Halloween Mica Stain Spray release. Yes. <laughs> so deep. Love it. Okay. Fallen acorn really deep dark brown and then crooked broomstick completely more yellowy brown much lighter but fabulous i love them all they're all beautiful so that did not take me very long thankfully because like i said i got five million things to do and i have all of these just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful swatches. And they make me super happy. So yeah, gotta organize them, figure out labels. I mentioned in yesterday's swatch video, I'm probably just gonna write something on the back of them. In fact, that's probably what I for sure will do because writing on top of mica can get a little bit weird so I'll just put the names of each one on the back of the tags I've already put links to everything I used there and then I'll use one of the and I have links to these as well these are the um, cable binder rings that Tim Holtz always uses so I can put all the tags on here and then it just goes like so and then you can just grab and go so I'll have all of them in rainbow order once I figure out exactly how I want them and we'll go from there. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys, and check out the first one if you didn't watch it. And I will talk to you guys soon. I'll have a video and card making stuff coming hopefully later today. Bye.